So we all know that the shopper journey has changed, in particular in the last few years as e-commerce has really taken off. In some cases, journeys are becoming much shorter with buy now and shop now buttons appearing on social media streams or in live streaming channels, meaning that some journeys are becoming increasingly impulse. This area used to be owned by confectionery and snack categories that is now broadening to a very, very wide array of categories. Other journeys are becoming much longer as there are more and more touch points for the shopper to engage with, to research, to find the best bargain or the best value product or the most trusted seller. But even more than that, we see that the post-purchase journey is becoming increasingly important to the whole customer experience, primarily because it's where the delight comes in. If we're no longer going into a store to experience the product or the brand, that experience moves into the receipt of the product. We want to be surprised and delighted when the product arrives to mimic as much as possible the in-store experience of taking the product home. Think about all the elements of the post-purchase journey. The purchase and payment process itself. Is it clean? Is it safe? Is it easy? Is it secure? The delivery. Is it quick? Is it trackable? Is it reliable? Do you actually know where the product is coming from? The packaging itself. Is it wasteful? Are there too many layers? Too much plastic? Is it easy to access, to operate and then install? Is it actually the product that I ordered? Is it what I expected? Is it in good condition or has it been damaged during transit? What if there are any issues? Can I return the product? Can I get a refund? Is it all hassle free? If any one of these elements doesn't really go smoothly, then it's gonna have repercussions on the brand. And it's now easier than ever to let your dissatisfaction be known by leaving reviews or feedback, which others may find when doing their initial search, discovery or exploration. Many of these elements are in the hands of third parties, whether it's platforms or sellers. But brands and retailers really need to think about how to handle them. For example, is there an opportunity for you to move towards a direct consumer or subscription model where you can liaise directly with your shopper? You keep control over the packaging, for example, to make sure it aligns with your sustainable brand values while also ensuring that the product is quality. What's the online delivery equivalent of shelf-ready packaging? How can we make it easier for third parties to just pick up and send your pack without having to add lots of additional packaging? Ultimately, with more commerce moving online, if we don't deliver on the post-journey experience and surprise and delight the shopper, they will find another provider. And any negative feedback left in the public domain is likely to be seen by future shoppers.